Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to find the relation between time for the reactions which are taking place at different rate of reaction in a first order chemical reaction. This is the problem given here, it says that for a first order reaction, so the time required for 99% completion is twice the time required for completion of 90% of the reaction. One reaction is getting completed by 99% and another reaction is getting completed by 90% and we have to find the relation between between uh, between the time of the both reaction. Let me take the first reaction which is getting completed by 99% and for this we can apply the formula for the first order of reaction. Here you can see that the reaction is getting completed by 99%. It means that initial amount is 100 and the final or remaining amount will be 100 minus 99 is equal to 1. Because you know the value is given in percentage that's why initial amount is taken as 100 and the final amount 100 minus 99. Uh, is equal to 1. In a similar concept we can also apply here. The second reaction is getting completed by 90%. It means that initial amount will be 100 and the final or remaining amount will be 100 minus 90 and say will be is equal to 10. This is the final amount. Now we can apply the formula for the first order of reaction for the both reactions and we can divide the time. We assume that for this reaction which is getting completed by 99% the time is T1 then here we have T1 is equal to and so I apply the formula for the first order of reaction here we have 2.303 and so here we have rate constant K log and initial amount initial amount is 100 for first reaction and the final amount is 1. Now I assume that uh, the time for the second reaction which is getting completed by 90% is T2 here we have T2 because we have to find the relation between uh, the time uh, for the both reactions that's why I label it T1 T2 so that there should not be any confusion between time values here we have 2.303 and upon K and so log for the second reactions which is getting completed by 90% the initial amount is 100 initial amount and so the final amount is 10 here we have 10 now we can do the calculation we can divide both values once we divide it here we divide it so then same this uh, values will cancel out as a result here we get a t1 upon t2 and so on right side here we get log 100 and log 100 value is equal to here we have log its log value is 2 here we get 2 upon 0 0 will cancel out on log 10 log 10 is 1 value here we have log 10 is 1 now you can do the cross multiplication once we do the cross multiplication we will get the relation between the time of both reaction T1 is equal to 2 and T2. Here you can see that the reaction, uh, this is the relation between time is given. It is, here you can see that a time required for 99% of completion for this is the T1 and so is twice the time. This is T2. Here we get the relation T1 is equal to 2T2. Is twice the time required for the completion of 90% of the reaction. Thank you. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment below. For more updates on IIT JE or NEET exams, please subscribe to our channel to get a lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.